Hi all, this is Page Turner yet again. Um, I've decided while I play Ascension, I am not going to split it up into. Well, I'm not just going to start after three um, videos. Because I love Ascension so much, I'm going to play the entire thing. Sky, please. No, please. One last time. Please, Ida, this can't be it. No. This one looks strange. Touch the weird black liquid. No. <gasps> it won't let me hit. No! Ida slowly opened her eyes in a warm hut. The bed she was sleeping in was soft for the first time in years. Ouch. Even though it was pretty small, the hut was clean. The sheet smelled like spring flowers. She felt something familiar about this place. It was a grandmother's hut. And there she was. Ida's chest burned with a terrible pain. This couldn't be real. Grandmother was gone. It was all because of Ida and her arrogance. She stood up and slowly approached the old woman. Even if it was a dream, she would give anything to talk to her once again. So she could say she was sorry that she never listened to her. There's a lot of verses in that sentence. There was. There's a lot of S's in that sentence. In this sentence. S-S. S-S-S-S! Finally up. Um, I I don't remember. They are coming for you, Ida. They know you are alive. Ooh. Ida shivered in fear. Those were the exact words she said that day. Come to think of it, it felt exactly like that day. The hut, the stew. Even Grandmother looked the same. Then she heard the heavy knocks at the door. The heavy knocks. Perfectly balanced, confident knocks. Wait. There we go. She didn't want to open the door. Her knees were shaking. She knew it. It was them. Run, Ida. And don't... <clears throat> Run, Ida. And don't look back. I don't think she has anywhere to run. Please, don't waste my time. What? Why? Nothing personal. You just have something I need. He was strong, stronger than he should have been. He gazed at her coldly. It was disgust in his eyes. I clicked it! So much hatred in his eyes. She wished she knew exactly... She wished she knew why he hated her that much. Enough to almost kill me after this. Oh, I can feel... Oh! Ida suddenly felt the cold, hard metal pierce through her stomach. Oh, it didn't hurt at first. Being a noble, she rarely ever felt name pain. <laughs> name pain. At least that's what grandmother used to call her. A noble. They were feared by many. Silver hair, deadly gaze. Abominations of human race. Superior sight, speed, and reflexes. But they never had emotions, feelings. They were stone-cold killers, perfect soldiers. Grandmother used to say, The day you meet a real noble will be the day you die. She never understood the meaning of those words, as she was a noble herself. But seeing the man in front of her, his deadly gaze, emotionless face, perfect voice. She started to realize she wasn't a real noble, and the real nobles didn't want her alive for some reason. Ella slowly started to feel cold and tired, but mostly scared. I would, too. She couldn't keep her tears. They were rushing out of her eyes. Oh, 
Why does he have white cloud for his eyes? Before she started looting, <laughs> looting. Oh my gosh. Before she started losing her consciousness, she looked at him one more time, and then she saw the glow in his eyes. The white glowing light was flowing through her to him, and she started to feel it. The pain. It was her ability he wanted. He, she was losing her ability. Suddenly, time started flowing slower, the pain heavier. It started to hurt so much she couldn't even scream. Colors became darker. Her sight slowly started to narrow down. Narrow down. I said narrow. Slowly, her eyelids closed. What she would do with the girl? Throw her somewhere near the woods. Make it look like it was the bandits. Rude! What? But you didn't have to stool so low. And then change another. But I don't even need that girl. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Why you gotta be so rude? By the wounds. Look at her wounds! Dad, can you help her? I don't know, Scott. The injuries don't look good. They don't! I just got stabbed in the stomach. Hey, don't worry. I will help you. You are safe now. Thank you. That's so nice. I've got this. It's just an incubus. Oh my gosh, an incubus? A friend is lucky. If she was a fully gr if it was a fully grown incubus, she could have sat for years. Here, yeah, this should wake her up. Will she wake up now? This was all my fault. In a few moments. Oh! Xander! In a few moments. She'll probably have a terrible nightmare, though. You should be more careful. Never touch an incubus. They could trap you in an internal nightmare for, of your worst fears. I got that. We aren't exactly scholars. I'm sorry, Tilly, right? And Xander. And Xander. And Xander. The carvings are dwarven too. I know. I told you. So your sleeping friend here. She flew, you said. Yes, and her eyes are, were glowing too. Then the ground started shaking. Oh, then the ground started shaking, and the secret entrance opened. I spelled the entrance. I spelled entrance wrong for the second time. It's an A, not a second E. Oh, dang it! Gosh, dang it, Sander! I don't know. They just vanished. Why are you here, anyways? Stuff. Why are you here? Stuff. You. You. Idiot. Maybe I shouldn't have woken up. What were you thinking touching that thing? I saw it right before it faded. Boom. Should I do many things? No. I'm so sorry, Sky. I never wanted to scare you. I was so worried. You suddenly passed out all cold and shaking in fear. You would have died. If Tilly and Xander weren't here, you would have died. Oh, thank you for, you know, saving my life. That's all for this. Don't worry about it. That's all for this episode. Remember to like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. All. Peace. Four, three, two.